Hey Lena Squad, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, I love you guys so much. I can just say all the love. My subscriber is going up. We're on the road to 1k. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. If you're new, by the way, welcome to my channel. My name is Eunice and I bring you Australian related content. Today, telling from the title of the video, I'm going to be answering your question. And this is a very crucial question because I also had this question in mind when I was coming into Australia. This question is, can I change my course, can I change my uni after one semester in my enrolled school? So yeah, I'm, I'm sure that is pretty straightforward. So this question has been a big thing on everyone's chest, especially if you're coming into Australia and especially if you're coming into Australia through a, a very expensive uni. And I think this question always arises from the information we get from, from our agents. If you're in the same shoes as me, just put it down in the comment section because when I was coming, my agent would not allow me rest. Before I say one to about Australia is expensive, they'll tell you once you come in, you can change your school. That's not a problem. It's so easy to change your uni. It's so easy to change your course. That's what they all say. So if you really want to know if whatever they told you is indeed the fact or if it's not, don't go anywhere. I to reiterate this fact, I have the answer to this because I have been through the process. So I have the valid answers for you. Yes, it is possible to change. No, let's go back. Let's rewind. No. It is not, mm. let's rewind. <laughs> yes and no. So that's my final answer. My answer is yes and no. I'm saying yes and no because I have first-handedly experienced both ends of it. So I'm going to explain it to you. I said yes because I've seen someone that was able to change his uni and change his course after one semester in UNSW in Sydney. So he came in through UNSW and after one semester in UNSW, he was able to change his uni to Melbourne and to a different course. I'm saying no because I've also seen people that have not been able to because they were told that you can't change your uni and you can't change your course after one year, after one session. And for UNSW, one session is a three semesters. Because it's a trimester, you have to do three semesters. So it's a very rare case to find people that can live after one semester. I hope I'll be able to answer that question. They allow, they agreed, okay, I'll make it easier this way. The legal way of changing your uni and changing your school is after one year. It's after one session in the uni. But your story could be different. But that's the straight away answer I have for you. So getting into this video on a wholesome note, I'm going to divide this video into two parts. I'm going to divide this video into change of uni, one side. So change of uni, same course. The second part of the video is going to be change of uni, change of course. I separated it because it differs when it comes to your experiences. So if you're changing your uni and you're not changing your course, it's pretty straightforward. So let's say you're done with your one year in the uni which you came into Australia through. Let's make it very, very easier for us. Let's say UNSW. Let's say I unis I came in through UNSW. After one year, I want to change my uni, but I don't want to change my course. Why did I say it's easy? I said it's easy because you're doing the same course. So what that means is that units, all those units you ended up doing in that one year in UNSW is going to apply in this same uni in one way or the other. So it's easy for you to transfer your credits from your uni straight there. And what that also means is that that saves you a lot of time of which your un your 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 uh, programmed um, duration of 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 education is not being extended because I think it's just straightforward for you to know that if you're not able to transfer your credit for the course which you're doing 
that means your school is going to spill over and that means you're going to need a student visa extension and so that's what i'm saying when it comes to just the change of uni it's quite straightforward you transfer your credit next thing you have to do is you get your admission in that uni you get your coe from that school from the new school basically and the way you the only way you can get your new coe from the new school getting a new coe is very easy is the easiest thing once you get your admission they give you your coe if you're able to pay the fees you get what i'm saying uh so this de also depends on your transcript so you have to get a transcript from unsw because unsw we are using unsw now as our case study so i need to get my transcript from my school and use it to apply for an admission in another school so let's say you want to go to a regional area so you look for a school in a regional area through your agent you apply to that school you submit all the certificates and everything they need for you also submit your you also submit your um transcript and then you get your coe if that school what happens what also another thing you may also need is an english proficiency uh, test depending on the course you're going into so um because that you know the difference is this video is quite i'm trying to explain it as well as as easily as possible so because you understand on most cases take people in without an ielts you could be going to another school in the regional area and that could be a mandatory criteria for them so you may have to take that as well and so yeah those are the things you may end up needing uh, if you're just changing your uni but then let's come to the second part of changing of your uni and changing your course that's a whole different thing you're changing your course that means whatever school whatever unit you did for the past one year it doesn't matter it's all in the bin good thing is you can always get certificates i'm saying this thing in this video i'm still yet to collect my certificate don't be like me I'm going to give a whole story time about this whole thing. Don't be like me. You paid a huge amount of money in that school for one year. Get a certificate. The, be it a diploma, be it a graduate certificate. Just get something from that uni before you leave. This applies to the both part of this video. If you're changing your uni and not changing your course, get something. If you're, oh, you may not, for that one, I don't, I'm not too sure if you get something from that uni because you're transferring your credits. So that means you're just doing the continuation of that program. So I'm not too sure of that part. But if you're changing your course, I'll totally advise you get something for the time you spent and for the money you spent. The difference between this part of the angle with this uh, section is with the other part is that for this part now, you're going to a new course. And that new course may have their requirements so let's say if you're switching uh, your career uh, your career path probably there are so many there are some things that this particular sector need that you don't have let's say for instance you're switching from an engineering field into a social work field you're going into social sciences of course they need you to have a social science background what do you need to do do you need to take a diploma in that there are so many things that underlie all those things so it cannot be black and white but the main thing you should be aware of if you're changing your course also is that you may have to extend your student visa because of course that one year which you've studied is a waste so basically you now have to extend your student visa i'm going to do a whole new video of the process of extending your student visa because i just went through that process and i'm in a good position to explain my experiences and what to expect so don't go anywhere. I hope these videos are helping you. If they are, please just keep put, keep dropping your comments in the comment section. It keeps me going and I really appreciate all of you that take time to engage with my platform. And so in general, a whole blanket to this question is, yes, it is possible for you to change your uni, to change your course, to change the city. You can move from Sydney to regional. You can move from Sydney to Melbourne. You can move from Melbourne. You can move anywhere. No one is holding you. So you can change your uni to anywhere. As far as you get a COE, as far as you get an admission letter, as far as your unit is transferred, as far as you can continue your uni wherever you are. So guys, without saying too much anymore i hope i've been able to answer your questions if you're getting this question if you're getting this such statement from your agent i hope i've been able to give you a little bit of more assurance than i had when i was coming in 
Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!